Well, moving our focus, CNN News 18's Anand Narsimhan spoke to Minister of State for Sk Skill Development, Rajiv Chandrasekhar, about how Digital India has made the entire country a part of the tech economy. Let's listen in. Rajiv Chandrasekhar ji, Namaste. Namaste. So let me first ask you, it says from lost decade to India decade. So the biggest story is the India stack. Right. So at a time when telecom and IT was seen as a base for scams, mm -hmm. to a day when we are seeing about 14 trillion rupees worth of transactions per month. I think the whole country is very happy. Mm. And, I, I, and I think certainly uh, one of the things that the Prime Minister has done about, you know, and my colleagues have been speaking for the last few days about other ministries as well, is that he has really brought a sense of purpose and urgency and excitement to the hundreds and thousands of young Indians who are now active participants in this whole tech economy. Uh, I mean, like you correctly said, pre-2014, the narrative about tech was, uh, which is the 2G scam or the Antrix Deva scam, or is it BSNL going bankrupt, or is it uh, investors running away like Nokia, Telenor, Atisalat? That was really the narrative around the tech, unfortunately, mm. because mm. the same Indians, the same young, young Indians were Indians there as well, then as well. But post-2014, the way the Honorable Prime Minister has harnessed technology to address some of the really deep-rooted problems of corruption, of money leakages from government subsidies, and at the same time, creating this innovation ecosystem that the world is today looking at with awe and respect uh, with thousands and hundreds of thousands of young Indians is certainly a journey that is a long journey in the last nine years, but a lot of deep thinking, visioning and hard work by mm. our Prime Minister. But is it celebrating too early, let me ask you, or is it just focusing on what's good? And, and trying to hide out what's not being thought about. No, I, I that, that's one of the criticisms. No, that... no, look, I think criticism is always welcome. And I think, you know, good critique and criticism about what we have not done as opposed to what we, or what we, we could have done better is, is, always, is always welcome. But I think nobody today who looks at India dispassionately and, you know, with, with a sense of, uh, you know, uh, independent assessment will ever uh, conclude anything but the fact that the last nine years have been transformative for con the country in general, mm. but for the tech economy and the digital economy in particular. Mm. And the statistics, the numbers, the energy, the, the proof of the pudding, if you want to call it, is there for everybody to see. Mm. So not, we, there is no such thing as celebrating prematurely. Because every big milestone, unlike uh, Rahul Gandhi, who does not like to celebrate anything Indian, we are people who believe that every success we should celebrate. Mm. And that celebration of that success should in turn spark and catalyze more successes, more momentum mm. and more growth and more opportunities for our young Indians. But, but the government is already celebrating the successes. The job of the opposition is to also call out the funding winter. Yeah. The fact that an open AI or an AI comes, AI based tech will also lead to loss of jobs. So there is unemployment. No, no, I have a look, so, I don't think so, anybody uh, hmm. Anand, today worries about or is concerned about genuine criticism or mm. even constructive criticism or even saying, look, uh, this government is not doing uh, as much as it should do in this particular opportunity. Mm. But that is not what the opposition is doing. As you know, uh, the opposition is doing something which is very, very strange, which is that as the world celebrates India, as uh, President Biden uh, uh, you know, embraces and uh, treats our prime minister with respect, which is really a sign that he's uh, treating India with respect. As people and economies all around the world, including tens of 20, uh, you know, tens of governments want to adopt the India stack. Every leader in the world, including multilateral agencies, recognize the power of UPI and the innovation mm. behind it. That you still have the opposition saying, no, there is no democracy, there is no judiciary, there is no media, there is no grow good, there is no progress, there is no economic growth. You have to be spectacularly blind to the reality or you just have to be a cussed politician to today deny what is happening in India.